That's good <laughs> shit, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm super baked, and my friends are probably wondering where the hell I am. Will somebody please just tell me something already? Okay, the thing about the great beyond is... We invented it! What? I know, right? As soon as you're out those doors, the gods kill our asses. What, are you crazy? That doesn't make any sense. Why would the gods want to kill us? That makes no sense. Uh, because it makes them stronger. Every kill gives them more power, and it's never enough. Over the years, they've grown bigger, stronger, fatter. The hunger's insatiable, buddy. I mean, fuck. You guys are fucking nuts. How much of that shit have you been smoking? Too fucking much is how much. We blaze for real 24-7. No joke. But we also know our shit. Before us, everyone knew the awful truth. Oh, how they screamed. It was a living nightmare. So we, the non-perishables, created a story. The story of the great beyond. A place where the gods care for you. And all your wildest and wettest dreams would come true. They would go out those doors happy instead of shitting themselves. Mm. Wait, wait. So you're telling me you wrote the song? I can't take full credit. I wrote the music. Twink here is my lyricist. We both drop it right, and we drop it all the time. Boom. The melody came to me one night when I was getting super, super, super baked. Like, fuck a guy baked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he does. The song had a great hook, and it caught on, I mean, you know. In time, everyone accepted this false truth. But over the years, things started to get a little fucky. The aisles started changing my verses to support their own views. Fucking with Twink's tight-ass lyrics, remixing my shit without my permission. Now, every morning when I hear the song, I'm like, What the fuck are you guys saying? I mean, wasn't there a part today about exterminating juice? I didn't write that shit. I love juice. Always have. I mean, juice are hilarious. Who the fuck do these guys think they are? Anyway, at least it's still distracting them from the truth. That they get brutally devoured. So that means Carl and Barry are dead? I don't know who those dudes are. But if they went out those doors... Dead as a motherfucker. <coughs> oh, God. 